<laughs> Bro. Rise of the Ronin Platinum Trophy, that's what we're going for. There is so much rage this game put me through, that's what we have in store. Holy crap, did I think this is going to be an easy time? But going for the Platinum on Twilight Mode made me lose my mind. Whoa, man, it was so insane. I have to do one trophies to get through two Platinum this game. Whoa. Damn, I will sometimes lose, especially when trophies require fighting bosses paired in twos. But I didn't give up. Nah, never that. I'm going to do what I have to do to earn me this plat. So, let's go ahead and get to the journey and see exactly why this platinum trophy left me hurting. Uh. Like I said in my rap, we are playing this on Twilight Mode, which is equivalent to Hard Mode. The game starts out with us creating our Veiled Edge twins. We learn a little bit about the mechanics before being sent out on a mission. During this mission, we encounter a boss of face, you know, the classic Souls-like boss that's probably gonna beat you up. Here we go. Damn, that was cap. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Shit, they got serious. Hold on. Just wait one second. Wow. All right. I don't think that was somebody you could beat. Wow. After losing our blade twin, we head back to our home village that's being attacked. We must save Granny here, but then we face off against her to end the prologue and earn a trophy. Okay. It's valid. There we go. What's up? Chill. Chill, Grams. Chill. Damn. Almost had Grams first try. Here we go, Grams. Sorry you had to come to that. Our first trophy, flying the nest, cleared the prologue. Let's go. We've reached the open world, but we needed a way to get around. You obtained chestnut horse. Nice. My first horse. Now I just had to choose the perfect name for my horse. Let's go, Roach. Roach? Throughout our journey, we will run into plenty of different people that will help us with trophies through the bonds we form, the first of which being this eccentric Ronin named Ryoma. The cool thing about it is you can then bring these allies along with you to aid you in missions, which will also be important for the trophy social climber later on. I brought Ryoma into this mission to help me face this bandit chief, and it still took me a few tries. There we go. Oh. What? I pressed triangle, bro. There we go. I have to lock in on your silly ass, buddy. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. That was better, though. That was better. Oh, I'm getting them. Damn it. I could still get him, though. I just wanted my character to do it. He's still done, though. He's still done, though. Pretty cool dude. All right, dude. Threads of fate. Establish your first bond. Homie cool. Personal bonds are not the only bonds we can have. There are also area bonds that grow when collecting and completing things in different areas of the map, which I did for this trophy. Home sweet home. Achieved your first level three bond, area bond. I grabbed the final thing to collect from that area for this trophy as well. Collector. I made my way to the longhouse, which will serve as my home base. I can do multiple things here, like remodeling it, for example, which I earned a trophy for. Gotta put the, gotta put the, you know, nostalgia. See, I'm glad I didn't sell that. 
Nice. Fresh start. I had a very tough time with many of the encounters I faced, even during my exploration. I died to an overpowered group of enemies and then spent 30 minutes going back every time I died just because I was too stubborn to move on from that point, even when it slowed my progress down. I should not be fighting these guys. <laughs> Why am I fighting these guys right now? I have no reason to. Yes. Yes. Come on. Is that it? Let's go. Dude, that shit was damn near pointless because I didn't have to do that right this second. Not only did I run into fights while exploring, I also found someone that let me give horseback archery a try, and I was aiming to get that master rank. Oh, shit. This is actually tough. Okay, there we go. It's because I thought I had to also move, but nice. Horseback hero. The highest rank master in horseback archery. Wow, first tried it too, yeah? I also did some firearm training as well. I'm assuming this has a, a trophy attached to it if I had 7,000, if the other one did too. Let's go for these first. I need to line these things up. Okay, I think we got 7,000. <laughs> no, we don't. Yes, we did. We got it. Let's go. And there it is. Yep, I figured. Firearm genius. There are more trainings to do that also have trophies. We will get to those later on, but my main focus was to get back on track to prioritizing the main missions. This particular main mission, I decided to do without bringing any allies along. Let me do this mission ally less. Let's do it. Assassinate while gliding. Oh, that's nasty. I like that. Did you to him? Oh. Wow. Am I dead? Damn. <laughs> Damn. No, I don't want that again, bro. Leave me alone. There we go. Let's go, baby. All right. Time to get on my photo. Damn, that's an old ass camera. Yo, day. Got us a camera now, too. That'll be useful. And we also got us a trophy. Oops. Solitary Ronin. Completed a mission without allies. I meet a woman named Taka, and my first thought is to get into a romantic relationship with her for a trophy. Hey, just don't tell my wife about this, though. This is going to take me some effort to build our relationship, so you know I had to give her a little gift. Oh, to significantly deepen your bond. One good turn deserves another. Gave our first gift. Our whole journey's motivation is mostly about searching for our blade twin to see exactly what happened with her. That might have been a mistake, low key. We found her all right, but she wanted to fight. Like that, eh? Oh, she is chopping me up. Yeah. I want to defeat her with him. Oh, get up. Wow. Got my gun. What about that? Let's go. Break that guard. Go in. All right. Let me up my damage. heal of my damage oh let's go that's what we that's what i'm talking about baby bro trying to figure out what my dog was barking at she in there wilding okay i gotta lock no back one. in come on i'm trying to heal There we go. We got it, y'all. We got it. We got it. Woo. Blade twin. She ain't no joke, man. She is not no joke.
curtain falls and curtain rises learn that your blade twin is still alive after finishing that mission i earned another trophy really quick for doing a bond transfer then continue with some main mission struggling on occasions also i had to save taco with the situation she owes me for that bs then i reach a main mission in which i need to break into a prison to try and save someone important to the anti-shogunate's master showing we plan this out like michael schofield from prison break all right boss fight bring it on who we fighting oh it's locked up oh, here we are let's go let's go Damn it, it's okay. We still got this, though. Maybe. Yeah, we got it. Infiltrate the prison complex. We head to a new location, Edo. And things have been going good with Taka so far. We went on a little date and I took a picture of her. Alright, let's, let's, let's make this shot a good one. I think that's pretty clean, y'all. I think that's pretty clean. A happy memory. This pretty much solidified our romantic relationship. Music blast. Huh? Veiled vow. Started your first romantic relationship. I also wanted to have Taka become my first level four personal bond for a trophy as well, since I was super close to doing so. But it's crazy what happened shortly after making our relationship official. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Damn. I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. To get revenge for Master Showing's death, we must face off against the Red Demon. Remember I said double bosses would hold me back from some trophies in my rap? Well, this is one boss fight I faced with no allies. This was the first boss fight to start a trend when it comes to double bosses. Oh, me too. Look, we think of the same thing. Wow. No, I don't want to change the difficulty. I want to continue playing on Twilight. Leave me the hell alone. Bro, that shit is annoying how you get hit by the, off, the other person when you're just like, bro, they don't even give you time to like not heal or anything. The next day. Since I, I think I got this dude's move set down. For the most part. Alright, let's do that. Seal. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Lock in. Oh, I'm about to. I'm about to break that key. Let's go. Yes, one down. Finally. It's just you now. Let me heal. Damn it. Okay. I gotta lock in. I didn't get this far to die now. It's okay. Ooh, back out of that. There we go, baby. Let's go. Whew. Get them both out of here, man. Bear or kill. Let's let's go with kill. Let's go with defeat. Black ships, long shadows. Cleared chapter one. The anti shogunate crew wanted us to target a dude named Katsu for us to assassinate. Well, we went swinging across these boats like Spider Man until we could find his boat and try to take him out. Sure, Katsu. Hey, Katsu. Seemed like a cool dude. Fortunately, bro. Yes. Oh, wait. Maybe we don't have to GG him. 
I'm with it, bro. He cool. He cool. Let's join up with Katsu. Meeting Kashu Katsu. Going for chapter two's trophies is where the rage truly comes into play. This chapter has some of the toughest fights in the game that I've had to deal with. This all is due to me trying to help Katsu. I had to face off against Jules, which kickstarts my rage. Oh, this shit is pissing me off, bro. <laughs> of course. Of course he does that, bro. Starting to piss me off, man. Really starting to get on my nerves now. I needed to even channel the Plat Conqueror's energy like a spirit bomb to get this one done. This is for y'all, Platinum Conquerors. This is for y'all, Platinum Conquerors. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. Plat Conquerors don't play around here. Thank y'all. Had to gather y'all energy, man. Damn. Give me your energy. The fight that damn near broke me and showed me just how annoying double bosses can really be in this game was this fight right here. Yup, yeah. The poison around the arena is kind of messing me up, yeah. It's honestly on me, man. It's on me. It's on me. I'm playing so trash. If you don't remember anything, remember this. Tilt gets you killed. This game is sinking me into a deep depression. Got me stressing. This is such a learning lesson. I wish I would just win. Give me a blessing. This game is testing my patience. Let's go. Let's go. That's one. Come on. Get the. Woo, thank you. Let's go. Woo, yes, bro. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, man. That shit took way too long, bro. <laughs> way too long. Yo. That was terrible, bro. That that sucked man and you know what's crazy there's not even a trophy for doing that bro that was a humbling experience but i was glad it was over i had a couple more tasks to do as well but after we helped katsu we went to a fight tournament for a show to the shogun i just knew we were going to be participating good news though there's a trophy on the line I asked if you could enter the competition. I knew it. I knew we were going to fight, yeah. Oh, all right. That's the second round. There we go. That's it. Ooh, boy. Ooh, I have to dodge that. Ooh, yes. I stopped him with the pistol. Bam! GG, buddy. I am Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun. That's the Shogun? There we go. A show for the Shogun. Hey, look, another double boss fight that whooped my ass for a bit. <laughs> the Shogunate and the anti Shogunates clearly have beef, but we needed a temporary truce to get a mission done and earn a trophy. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Strange bedfellows brokered a truce between the Roshigumi and the Choso clan. The truce was super temporary because we took the fight to the anti shogunates immediately after, and we had to fight our homies in battle up until facing Genzui. But they weren't even the biggest problems of this situation because our blade twin appeared once again. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That move is so weird. It's kind of confusing because she jumps up. She jumps up and then you she gets out of vision, so I can't really see where she's at. Get up, homie. I think we're good. I think we might have this. I'm not ending this without me being up, y'all. 
This is my blade twin. It's up to me to finish this. Yep. All right, let him have it. There we go. And then let's put this. He's almost done. Okay. There we go. Let's go. Is that it? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Cities of Darkness, clear chapter two. We reached the final chapter of the main story, chapter three. And in the chapter, we brokered another alliance for a trophy, grabbed a trophy for mastering combat styles, and also faced another rage-filled double boss fight. You know what a wise man once told me? Don't rush. Take your time. But when that tilt kicks in, it is so hard to keep that in mind. Wow, I swear I'm here at that. Bro, move, bro. Bro, shoot him. Bro, come on, bro. Get out of here with that. Dude, I'm about to play some movie game or something after this, bro. This game is stressing me out. There we go. I don't care, bro. I'm doing what I got to do, bro. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. And that is not too damn bad. We're doing what we got to do, man. Finally, bro. That took way too long, bro. Wow, there's no trophy, but thank you. The Battle of Toba Fushimi brought the Battle of Toba Fushimi to an end. I earned that. It right there yeah a few missions later and i reached the last mission to take on and it was a very high difficulty mission so i originally thought i think i learned my lesson on not leveling up but after i saw how slow it was taking me to level up i decided to just dive into that final boss fight a bit under level the final showdown between me and the blade twin was inevitable she didn't plan on taking it easy on your boy that's for sure damn bro she whooping me Damn. Damn, bro. Whoa. That's different. Damn. She got the techniques, yo. She got the techniques. An hour later. So you're determined to interfere. I know you've set up on any. Oh, we're down. I don't know why it's not letting me shoot off GP though. Let's go. So glad I healed. I'm a run. <laughs> no, please. Yes. 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 Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I had to lock in, bro. I was just laser locked, bro. Yeah, I mean, she was doing what she 
I feel like, you know, Blade Twin was out here wilding, but you know what? We gonna let you live another day. Eld Edge completed. The dawn of a new Japan. Cleared chapter three. Oh, wait, hold on. And we got a Veiled Edge's future. Sealed the fate of your Blade Twin. Nice. Now that we completed the main missions, it was time to tackle the remaining trophies. I went with the trophies that required me to grind first and foremost. I went around the map with four different trophies as my main focus. The trophies for completing 50 chance encounters, defeating 50 fugitives, collecting 100 cats, and taking all photos that I can but I was able to get some of the other trophies done in between. There it is, it is the spear. Martial arts maniac, buddy drunk. What's up, what you need? Got any sake? I thought I had some, but... Am I supposed to grab this, like throw it at him? Oh, wow. That was okay. That was interesting. Just been strolling. You know what I mean? It's kind of how I've been doing. Strolling around. Waiting until the chance encounter just pops up by chance. You know? This is the last one we got to do. What's it going to be? Oh, it's one we got to fight. Bam. Hold on. Now it is. There we go. Give me that trophy, baby. Fancy meeting you here. Had 50 chance encounters. All right, here we go. Final. Final one. Do this. Bam. And then this. GG. Keeper of the peace. Defeated 50 fugitives. This should be enough. There we go. Money bag. Saved 150,000 sin. I just rode through this next area and reached level 55. Made it to a cat. You know, I've been collecting cats. And while collecting cats, it's been upping my bond level for Usaguma. Dayu. All right, and look, they be putting these cats in some wild spots sometimes, y'all. Damn. All right, bond level four. There we go. All right, y'all, we're pulling up on the final location of the lat. We have the last cat right here. Cats overall collected all cats. Also pulling up on the final picture. Here's the picture. Final picture location. Whoops. All right. Take a picture of this. Boom. Sightseer completed all photograph spots and we are also right next to the reason I saved this place for last to take the picture is because there's a trophy for gliding from the elevated deck, which I'm assuming is right here. All I got to do is glide from here and I earn a trophy. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Dive of the Ronin. Glided from the elevated deck at that temple. Now it was time to take care of the remaining two trainings that have trophies as well. These last two trainings didn't go the same way as the first ones, however. Gonna have to drop through this. Damn it. Dang. The other ones I first tried, like the gun one, and then the other one, horseback rider one. Damn. This one's going to take some some temps. Ooh, yep. OK, we're good. We're good. We're good. This is the trophy. Yep. Winged warrior. All right. We made it to the dojo. You know, Joe, no mojo. Jojo. Um, let's train. Who's somebody that feel confident in being able to defeat I feel like I faced off against Saigo so much that I should be able to defeat him. Uh, kinda. Damn. Training session evaluations factor in time, damage, and technique. Okay. There we go. Hold on. This might be the one. This might be the one. I only use one heal. 
I thought that was pretty fast. Yeah, there we go. Driver's license. I head straight to the gambling den after and play to find out who's cheating and follow their lead to success. Let's go, cheater beater. Caught five cheaters while playing odds and evens. The people I've made bonds with have missions for me to complete. I have 58 total to do. This was going to be another grind, but some of these bond missions had trophies attached to them as well. For instance, I had a trophy to do that required me not to use any lethal force. This bond mission was the first to introduce that option. You can defeat enemies without killing them by using unarmed combat skills or wooden swords and training weapons. All right, this is a trophy right here too. What the f that killed him? I thought he was about to choke him out, bro. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I didn't have my fists out. Let's see. Let's see what happens now. Okay, there we go. Come here. Lifesaver completed a no kill missions objective. Another bond mission I played. I needed to save a character named Soji's life. So there was medicine after all. There we go, farewell black cat. I also needed to save Takasugi from the same illness. Dude, tuberculosis was running rampant in this time period. All right, we saved Takasugi. There we go, a greater opportunity. There were a few bond missions missing. I had to figure out which decisions I made wrong within the main story that removed the bonds as an option and then use the Testament of Soul to redo the mission and choose a different path, which is to spare instead of kill whenever that option is presented. Let's spare them this time. And there we go, the traveling through time trophy for retrying a mission using the Testament of Soul. However, there's a final bond mission that I can't get unless I save Ryoma, since he died in my initial playthrough. Now that I've done four out of five of the bond missions for him, it's possible to save him as long as I return to the main mission he died on and complete it again, or so I thought. Yep, I think we successfully saved him now. I'm counting on you. Wait. What the hell? Oh wait, we did save him. The final bond mission is available to do now involving Ryoma, and it ends with the same person we created our first bond with. Kinda wild in a way. Wow. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. I'm still good though. Whoa, he's ricocheting bullets. And GG. Friendly neighborhood Ronin completed all bond missions. All this plan and I still couldn't max out my skill points. I needed to come up with a strategy for that. At these gambling dens, they have these here, right? Treaties of strength. So I could come here, buy these treaties of strength to upgrade. So that's the plan. I'm gonna try to find as much strength stuff strength points as i can whether it be you know gambling at the different gambling spots also i might be able to get some with you know, clearing out certain areas like this one for example finishing this area there's another way to get some by leveling up my bonds with certain characters i'll be able to earn some strength points i have found someone who sells you the official sells you these treaties on strength thank goodness i found this dude and figured this part out because now this is gonna get me what i need i'm pretty sure i could do this shit like right away all right y'all i finally got enough strength points to max out my stats and strength let's do this and get this trophy boom Boom. A jack of one trade is a master of all. Completing the bond missions and unlocking all the allies made it possible to go for the social climber trophy now. I wanted to figure out the most efficient way to do this as possible. I'm gonna try to you do a short mission. The shortest mission I can think to do is this mission right here. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do this mission over and over again with different allies. Ernest? I don't know if I used Ernest. I'm pretty I feel like I did though. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. 
That shit counts. Look, all I have to do is start it up. It counts. I could quit this mission now. And then there we go. Social climber took part in missions with all available allies. Midnight difficulty is another difficulty we unlocked after beating the game. So I replayed the first mission on that difficulty. All right. There we go. Midnight Crossing completed an optional Ronin mission with the Midnight Difficulty setting enabled. After I went back to the Blue Demon tutorial boss and showed Buddy that I've gained a lot of power since the last time we fought, back when I was a noob. Damn, Buddy is getting shredded. That's it. Now bring on the Blue Demon. Come on, bro. You you between me and my Blue Platinum. There we go, and there we go, baby. Tears of a Blue Demon and Rise of the Ronin obtained all trophies. Let's go. That platinum is us. Let's go, yo. Bro, Rise of the Ronin's platinum has been conquered, yo. On Twilight difficulty, that was hard. Probably the hardest thing I've done this year so far, man. But hey, we got it done.